Hey nerds, welcome to Jared Bear Reacts. Today we're going to react to Season 1, Episode 1, aka Chapter 1, The Vanishing of Will Byers. Hopefully I said that correctly. Welcome into Stranger Things, your winner from the five episode voting we just did after we wrapped up the 100. This is it. Welcome in. It's happening. We have 34 episodes together with Stranger Things. Now, uh, I may I may have also put this in the announcement video. I haven't actually recorded that yet. Recording this one a little bit earlier just to get it done. So we, uh, we're going to do episode, we're going to have this, right? Stranger Things is going to be our show, 34 episodes. Once this show concludes, we're then going to watch the second place winner, which is Lucifer. Now, we're not going to go to third, fourth, fifth place. We'll take those other three shows and put them in voting for another time. But once we finish this up, we will go into Lucifer just so you guys have that ready to go. Now, this is, this is the boom, right? This is what everybody's talking about. This is what everybody's been watching. I never got a chance to actually do this. There were more important things going on at the time for me. And then next thing you know, all these seasons pass. Everybody's still talking about it. And I'm like, I, I'm i just here. So if you are new to the channel, feel free to subscribe for daily content. If there's a day, there is a reaction. There are links in the description box down below for the Patreon, the Twitch stream, and everything in between. Every episode will be on Patreon uncut for you guys to watch. If you choose to do so, there are links down there. Jerry's my various team co-host. He's going to do his best work behind the scenes in just a second. I just want to welcome you all in. We're going to get into it. Not every intro will be so long-winded, but I am happy to have you. I am excited to see what everybody's talking about with these things. And at the end of each season for our big shows like this, there will be recaps. There will be something we call the Jerry Awards, where we give favorite episode, favorite character, least favorite character, etc. Things like that throughout the show will be wrapped up. And then the following day will be a reaction. There are no episodic reactions on Sundays. That's simply my day to rest and record. This is your one time of me saying that. Was like, Where's the episode when a new show comes out? I'm like, bro, I'm asleep. Anyways, Jerry does his best work behind the scenes. Maybe. Jerry, clock in. Come on. There we go. All right. Are you ready? Let's do it. November 6th, 1983. Hawkins, Indiana. Literally, literally one of the worst states. No offense if you're from Indiana, but it's like as soon as you go into Indiana anytime, it's just smog. It's just fog and ugh. so many rather, other states I'd rather go to. Hawkins National Laboratory. <laughs> do you say laboratory or do you say laboratory? I'm a big laboratory person, but Dexter made me say laboratory. Hello? Hey, bro, put your motherfucking Heelys on, baby! Now, y'all have to have some better system in some place like this in a damn elevator, but you ain't got no fucking staircase. Now you got a hallway with lights turning off. What do you think's gonna happen? I'm gonna get in the- I'm gonna get in the damn elevator. I don't know how far underground or above ground you are, sir, but y'all need to invest in a staircase. Look at you. Staring down your face. Staring down the barrel of a 45. Staring down the barrel of a 45. Is it above you? Congratulations, you played yourself. Sound. Boom. Boom. Oh! I've been covering the chocolate lights oh. now that I came from something else. He's in it, bro. He's DMing. He's doing his thing. The Demogorgon. Wow. He... Where's your action? I don't know. Fireball. They have to roll a 13 or higher. Yeah, bro. You better get to rolling. Don't be a pussy. Don't be. Don't be. Protection. <laughs> the Demogorgon is trying to destroy you. Ready it stops towards you. Boom. Fireball. Hey, Will. Will. Stop. Boom. Yes. Yes. Protect. Fireball. It was an egg. You're putting. Fireball. And fireball. Oh, shit. Where'd it go? Check the dice, bro. Check it. Hey, a ground still a roll. Oh this is it, bro. Your whole lives depend on it. Oh this is your moment. What a shit bird. I normally have a D20 next to me. I was going to roll one for funsies. You've been playing for 10 hours? I think you should listen to your mother. Let me tell you something. First Dungeons and Dragons campaign, we did the starter campaign. We played for 11 and a half hours straight. 11 and a half hours straight. We were into it. It was good shit. I loved his makeshift 
little uh the dm whatever the fuck you want to call it i don't know mine was just my little thing but this the, the thing actually opened the starter kit comes with one you set in front of you and i like that his was just they didn't have that shit back in the day his was just boop a little a little folder you might see it then it doesn't count hey big brain plays right there if the dm didn't see it bro it don't count there's a slice left if you want it sausage and pepperoni hold on don't roll your eyes at him and the way he just wants to give you some look at his little smile my man just really came up here to give you some pizza and you gonna shut the door in his face wrong with your sister? I swear you bro about? she's got a stick up her butt yeah a whole stick dating that douchebag steve harrington yeah. later it was a seven huh? oh he's honest it was a seven you don't you're not gonna start a show with the whole campaign like that and not have it lead into something Maybe that role was actually hella crucial, baby. Keep your mom nice for me. Damn, bro. Your mama? So, that reminds me of that damn commercial. It's the worst commercial of all time. They're playing basketball, and the ball goes out of bounds, and the dude's in the hood. He's like, Coach, I touched it. And he's like, what? He's like, I touched the ball. He's like, come on, man. It's a championship game. Sorry, Coach. I t it was out on me, not on them. And then they're like, hey, we touched it. It's their ball. It's like honesty wins. It's like man, not in a champion in the championship game. No. Nope. No thanks. Mm -mm. Nah, bro. Sorry. Ain't happening. Get up, William. No, bro. Never look out the fucking window like that. You know how scary it is to even think about looking out a window? At nighttime, not in general. Like, Hello? Hello? You got a big shaboing boing kid. You better know how to use that thing. Don't accidentally shoot somebody that's important. Whoa, James. I, you know what? He does better than most people in situations like this. He didn't run, trip, fall, or nothing right now. He loaded that shit up. That was bright. Wow. And you just got gaffled. They didn't take you nowhere. You just went to the light bulb. Did you reverse photo? I don't know what reverse photosynthesis would be. Did you just get absorbed into it? I ha I have heard the theme song before, which fucking slaps. There's a wrestler by the name of Dexter Loomis that had a theme song eerily similar to this. But yes, I have heard this theme song. Now, all I got to say to little buddy is get fucked because you didn't roll high enough. I don't know what to tell you. Roll better. Ring, ring tang, ring thing. Stranger things. Created by the Duffer Brothers. Hey, you gotta be careful with people with the last name D&D, &D, or people that go by D&D &D stuff, because we had D&D &D for Game of Thrones and they fucking, you know what I'm saying? Terrible. The vanishing of Will Byers. Also, that intro slapped. The hundred could never. What's up, David Harbour, bro? I love David. I'd love David and everything that he's in. Bro, put your shirt on. It's we're we're ten twenty minutes up in the episode, and you got your nipples out, bro. Don't moan back at me. I do give him credit, man. Me and brother got the same. We got the same forehead. His is a little bit better than mine, though. I ain't gonna lie. Who are they? Jonathan? Check the couch. Oh, I did. Is that Kevin Bacon's son? Oh. Got them. Oh, hey, Winona Ryder. I will see you. I forgot all about all this. Okay. Where's Will? Oh, I didn't get him up yet. He's probably still sleeping. Jonathan, you have to make sure he's up. Mom. Midnight. Wow. Damn, bro. 
Racist and hateful. I swing on it. was toothless. I told you a million times. My teeth are coming in. It's called cleidocranial dysplasia. I told you a million times. Do the arm thing. Yeah, you're not funny, bro. Do it, freak. Also, uh, the little kid that played Mike, I don't know if you guys remember this from The 100, but he was also in The 100 briefly as that little Zorn dude. Wow, just, yeah. mm. Man, just seriously. put, just let our tongues dance inside the inner mouth holes. No, Nothing serious. Mm. It's so weird. Didn't they say this was middle school? I really, like, seriously, I have to go. Whoa, whoa, hey, let's, well, let's do something tonight, yeah? I, they look like they're in high school. They got middle school and high school together. Did I read that wrong? Nine, 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 nine repeating. Well, then just let me help. You failed him. C minus. Well, in that case. So I'll be over around uh, eight. Are you crazy? My mom would not. I'll climb through your window. She won't even know I'm there. I'm Bro, it's so crazy this eight o'clock p.m. thing. Like sending all, sending all those kids home at eight o'clock, playing D and D. I mean, they're probably going to eat dinner or whatever. But it's like we used to eat dinner, supper at like five, six, and if we had friends over, they would leave around like ten. I guess it's just two hours, but two hours is a big deal. Or on school nights, you know, you couldn't, probably like 11 be too late. Weekends, 1, 2 in the morning, probably, unless they were staying the night. That's so wild to me. Also, making out like that. I remember in high school, I thought about that like two days ago. Making out in high school in the hallway, that's so cringy. Just thinking about the fact that my teacher would have to be like, hey, we're going. I'm like, Aah. Forget about that. We can just. Nobody in that school had to take a shit that whole time? I feel like there's always one or two kids in the morning that just be taking shits for no reason. Like, they didn't want to do it at home, so they wait till they get to school. Oh, hey, morning, Flo. Man, I hope I'm not wrong on this. Hold on. Necessary on Monday morning. Is that little buddy from Daredevil? Some kids are stealing the gnomes out of his garden again. Oh, those garden gnomes again. The one they always get info from? I'm going to get right on that. Contemplation. Coffee and contemplation. Flo. Horrible sheriff. Look, she's already sitting in there waiting. Yup, yup. Missing. I have been waiting here over an hour, Popper. He, Lion, used to say he was queer. Called him a faggot. Is he? Wow. He's missing is what he is. Wow. That's the 80s for you. Uh, last I heard, he was in Indianapolis. That was Indianapolis isn't that bad. It's like the, that's like the... Why don't you give me his number? Like the shiny spot in Indiana. Nothing to do with this trust Joyce, 99 out of 100 times, kid goes missing. The kid is with a parent or a relative. What about the other time? What? You said 99 out of 100. What about the other time? Joyce. The one. The one. Joyce, this is Hawkins, okay? Do you want to know the worst thing that's ever happened here in the four years I've been working here? Do you want to know the worst thing? It was when an owl attacked Eleanor Gillespie's head because it thought that her hair was a nest. Okay, fine. I will call Lonnie. He will talk to me before he talks to a cop. Pick cop, save thing. Find, uh, find him, Hopper. Damn, bro, take a shit seriously. Worst thing that's ever happened here in four years. That means this is the worst thing. That kid got fucking turned into a light bulb. That shit is making noise and breathing. It is moving up and down. That was a living fucking scab. Oh my god. No, bro. No, no hentai. I don't need no tentacle porn in my Netflix shows. This where it Whose fucking dogs are we looking at right now, bro? Put that shit up. Oh, is this the, the one little person? Come on, dog. This is Nickelodeon shit all over together. You don't start with a feet shot. Too many sickos out there. Yeah, Millie. That's a... Uh... That's that little girl Drake would be texting. <laughs> so fucking gross. Who over here averaging 37 points per game? Just hooping? Mm, them fries look fire, son. 
Castle Byers. Look, I got a little thing out in the woods. You couldn't do that shit nowadays. Anybody home? Password? Oh, Rata. Ratatasker. Uh, Ratagat. Ratagat? Ratatasker. You may enter. It's the squirrel. It's you, sir. Yep, I was I was waiting for the shot to switch. He ain't in there, bro. Well, well. Ran away. Boy, I know that burger fucking slapping. They uh extra salty. They hurt you. You went to the hospital, you got scared, you ran off, you wound up here, is that it? I'll give this back, and then you can have as much as you want. All right, maybe even some ice cream, but you gotta answer a few of my questions first, all right? First of all, you got your big ass fucking handle over her no. burger like it. No. Well, I'll be damned. She speaks. No, no what? Imagine just right. his his thought process, man, because he just sees this little kid. He just had a clother, and then sees a tattoo on her arm. I'd be fucking freaking out. There's no more food then. Bro, them old ass fucking fans like that too, making all that goddamn noise. Matilda done turned the damn fan off. And went right back to eating her food like the shit was just normal. That's a crash. Yeah, like that's just we know for certain it's his bike. I'm not so hurt he couldn't walk away. Bike like this, like a Cadillac of these kids, would have walked it home. It's a solid point, man. Everybody, when you have a bike as a kid, that's that's your shit. I had a little little huffy. That was my baby. Nah, bro. See, I'm walking out immediately. Look, they don't. They they know you got too many clues together, and they don't hit the switch. Welching. Is that what that's called? Ugh. Hey, Jesus. What are you, deaf? I've been calling you. What's going on? I heard none of that, bro, when that light was off. We should be helping look for him. We've been over this, Mike. Y'all see that big ass house? They probably got that shit for dirt cheap. That motherfucker probably three hundred to four hundred thousand dollars right now. Stay put. Mom, that back. You're just pissed off because you want to hang out with Steve. Steve? Who is Steve? Her new boyfriend. You are such a douchebag, <laughs> my wedge. Oh. Wow. Come back. It's okay. Don't rat it out of your sister. I would never. I don't have a sister, but I wouldn't. See what happened? I know y'all better not be fucking playing D&D &D right now, bro. It's not, it's not the time. It's okay. It's Lucas. I know it's you. You say over when you're done talking, so I know when you're done. Over. I'm done. Over. I'm worried about Will. Over. Yeah. This is crazy. Over. I was thinking... Will could have cast protection last night, but he didn't. He cast fireball. Over. What's your point? Over. My point is... He could have played it safe. But he didn't. He put himself in danger to help the party. Over. Me means him. Over and out. You put a lightsaber in his fucking backpack? I, I got a feeling, man, that D and D plays a bigger factor into this than uh than expected. Maybe. Bit of a drive. Not too bad this time of night. Yeah. Hey, listen, I haven't told her that you were coming yet. I didn't want to run off. Children I work with usually are. Right, right. So, where is she? Right. Nah, lady, you suspicious as fuck, bro. Sorry again for trying to turn you away there. It's fine. You know, it's funny. Your uh, your voice sounds different. 
Benny! She done had to take two people out on the way out, and they done fucking killed Benny, bro. I like Benny. Just a nice, wholesome big guy. Just. Well. What have you done to my boy? Oh my fuck. Damn, okay. dog. Bro, these. I love my headset, but sometimes that fucking thunder just now. I really thought there was. I'm about to say, bitch, is it right into my room? That thunder was solid. He said. Cold, alone, soaking wet. They found her. Bro, their their music slaps so hard. They don't do anything post, do they? Okay, I didn't think so. That slaps, man. That's uh that's a really good introduction there to all these characters to to Will. I done forgot everybody else's name, bro. Eleven. Mike, Lucas, Dustin, is that it? That don't sound right. They fucking killed Benny. Hopper seems to be taking the the, the shit a little more serious over the just the course of those forty minutes, fifty minutes, whatever that was. And uh, Winona Ryder's doing a great job of playing the mother that's kind of like fucking panicking, basically. Jonathan putting pressure on himself because of taking the extra shift to work. Now, when this initially came out, when this show first came out, I think I watched up until Winona Ryder was talking to Hopper in the police station. So about 20 minutes in when this first came out, and I remember I had to go to work or I fell asleep or whatever it was and never came back to the show. So technically from that point forward, Everything 100% fresh. Uh, so you can't get too mad at me because I did technically fucking start it. I do know minor things like the theme song, the um, the board that she makes with the A, B, C, D, right? The, that I went to a Comic-Con and they had that there and I have a picture in front of it. I think actually wearing this shirt too, oddly enough. That wasn't planned. Uh, that's it. I heard the term Demigorgon. I've seen the pop of the Demigorgon. I think that's all. That sounds about right. And waffles. Eleven and waffles. So yeah. Anyways, uh episode one, season one, episode one. On his way home from his friend's house, young Will sees something terrifying. Nearby a sinister secret lurks in the depths of a government lab. Obviously, whatever took Will in the government lab thing is connected. It probably is the Demigorgon thing, but with the D and D board playing in more of a factor, like he could use protection, but instead he used fireball. That could play out into more things. Um he could simply just, I mean, he got gaffled into the light bulb. Maybe when the light bulb was off, Hopper was kind of in the same place that he was. Because the squelching stopped and the light bulb kicked back on and he didn't hear him calling his name. So, potentially. But he saw the gun getting loaded, the gun's gone. If Will got transported with a gun, that's important. These kids just found Eleven out in the woods. They done fucking killed Benny. I don't know, man. I'm excited to see how it plays out. How many episodes even on season one? Just eight. So a good old classic eight episode season. So anyways, season one, episode one entitled The Vanishing Will Byers. Season one, episode two is entitled The Weirdo on Maple Street. Steve trying to make some moves there, by the way, on old girl. She shut it down. I'm proud of her for that. Hopefully it doesn't become creepy. Anyways, appreciate you guys hanging out for the first episode. I'll catch you for the rest of them. We have 33 left to go until we're caught up with the rest of the world and for now links and everything will be in the description box down below playlist will be up on screen as always stay cute stay hydrated and i'll catch you on the next one